Most people see a tornado, they run the other way. Not the guys that I'm about to show you. Take a look. These are the storm chasers you hear about all the time. And this is the fruit of their labor. Unbelievable. You see that? You think it's close now? That tornado? Just watch what happens next. That twister? It's about to cross the road right in front of the vehicle with a team of to tornado chasers. Hit the sound up, Otis, if you got it. Let's hear what they're saying. All right. All right, with me now from the Weather Center is uh, CNN meteorologist Chad Myers, also from uh, Weatherford, Oklahoma, is uh, tornado chaser uh, Reed Timmer. Thanks, guys, both of you for being with us. Reed, we'll start with you. What did you see? What were you doing? What was it like? Well, it was an incredible supercell storm, and it had amazing rotation right from the get-go. The environment was so perfect for tornadoes that it started producing the first tornado just shortly after it developed, actually. And the first one was a rope tornado, and we thought we thought this was a perfect uh, tornado to intercept because our vehicle has uh, bulletproof armor. Wow. And uh, it's designed for the Discovery Channel Storm Chaser series, and our goal is to uh, drive into that tornado because it was weak enough to, that we could drop our hydraulic systems to the ground and uh, sustain impact from some of the debris that was flying around. How crazy do you have to be to get that close to something like this, Chad? Tell them. Well, in the vehicle that he's running, which is basically the EM50 urban assault vehicle, uh, you know, <laughs> the new version of that. Yeah. Uh, you know, but, but Reed, would you please tell people out there that if you have a pickup truck and a, and a weather radio, that that does not make you a storm chaser? You have a lot more stuff. Yeah, I cannot emphasize enough that that is definitely an example of what not to do. And I'll be the first to admit, basically every video we shoot is a good example of what not to do. And it's very difficult to tell what a storm's going to do, and it takes a lot of experience to time those cycles. And if you go out there and not, not experience, it can be very dangerous. And those tornadoes are extremely strong, and they can take a vehicle and throw it, you know, no problem. And it's an extremely dangerous situation out there if you don't know what you're doing. Jeez, look at that thing. How close did you get to the storm? I'd say we were within 50 yards or so when it crossed the road. 50 uh, just... yards? You could throw a rock 50 yards. Yeah, I don't know if I could. <laughs> we, we were definitely close, and uh, that, that was a perfect tornado for us to get close because it was really small and the circulation was very compact. Hey, yeah. Reed, when we were talking about that, we were actually showing that the bigger funnel that you had, the bigger tornado on the ground, looked like an F3 or something like that. It was, it was totally a wedge on the ground. That was one we were showing you. Huh. So how far were you away from that? It was like a half a mile, mile? Yeah, I thought it was about a half mile, mile when it crossed right in front of us and then moved out into that valley to the east. And uh, that was an extremely strong tornado, uh, as you mentioned. I would say I'd agree at least F3, um, maybe stronger. And thankfully it didn't hit anything, so we may not find out exactly how I'll it tell you, it's a, it's a unique position when you get to watch something like this. For the most part, you only see it the day after, and that's the bad news as well when you see all the, all the damage that it's caused. But here we're actually seeing the tornado. And thank goodness it wasn't blowing through a populated area at the time. Nonetheless, and, and notice, strong. notice, Rick, they're driving in uh, in a flat area. You know, you try to chase in Missouri or Arkansas, and you got to chase with a chainsaw. These guys know where it's at. Huh. They can see it a long way away. They know where every paved road is, and they don't go on dirt roads because dirt road turns into a mud road, and you don't want to be stuck in a mud road. That yeah. movie, that movie, what was it? I don't know. Was it Twister. The, Twister. Twister. That yeah. has nothing to do with reality when it comes to tornado <laughs> chase. That the cow, and the, the, the cow <laughs> flying up in the air. What are you talking about? All right. Hey, Reed, Chad, my thanks to you. We got another segment we're going to try and get in. Thanks so much for the update and the great video. All right. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right.